asks, what's the easiest way to set up a secondary server for failover? My friend runs an app on a single VM. We take nightly backups, but we want a better option than avoiding a whole day's worth of data. So this is a really good question. And I'm gonna give you two different answers. One, I think, isn't the easiest to set up. It's not terribly hard, but it's just not the easiest thing to set up. But it's the easiest thing to fail over, and that would be failover clustered instances, or FCI. This is your grandfather's active passive failover cluster. You can do this on Windows Server Standard Edition, SQL Server Standard Edition. Fails over automatically with no data loss in less than a minute. The second thing that I would give you is I think easier to set up, especially on existing SQL servers, which would be log shipping. It's easier to set up, easier to keep running, uh, also works on all versions of Windows Server and SQL Server. Um, it's a little harder to do, the, it's a lot harder to do the failover. Um, it's not the, something that's going to take you 20 minutes to execute by any means, uh, but it's something you're going to want to practice and rehearse. The other nice thing about both of those technologies is that because they've been around for a really long time, uh, it's not hard to find instructions on how to do it. You can uh, Google or hit YouTube videos and there are plenty of explanations for both failover clustered instances and uh, log shipping uh, to the point where you could find a 10 year old video and it's all still gonna be relevant. So I always like that kind of thing, especially if it can be done for free.